standards, reporting, memory management. We're creating our new project. And for the memory, you don't need every, anything to import, like enough to have the IO stream to output some information. Um, okay, I leave this because it's easier to output something. Uh, basically, the pointers or memory management is using the pointer. Uh, the reason why you need it, because when you're creating the variable like this, int number equals 50, that means in that in the memory world you have the stack memory like stack stack memory and you adding some stack maybe i take i know draw dot e a table to draw some stuff maybe draw dot e we going um yeah, maybe we go here. Um, we need to understand that we have the... Oh, it's so scaling differently. Uh, no, I need the text. Like stack. Hmm. It's really strange. Okay, we have the stack and we have uh, another stuff. Basically, all stuff uh, when using your program without the pointers will go to the stack. Here is a heap. Um, and that is connected i don't know how to how to visualize here and you have the stack and heap and those two is to back here and those two depends to some uh another block of operating system memory because you're working with some computer machine or doesn't matter which type of memory and here you're working with ram oh sorry ram and now you should uh you must understand that RAM is your like uh, operating system, some physical device. And when we have the RAM and when we have the heap, you just adding some wireless. Basically you have the same RAM and this RAM it's uh, inside have the stack and heap memory. And when you uh, adding some stuff to the stack uh, you basically the stack data structure I don't know you don't know how it works uh, stack data structure oh. uh, I don't know it's the best way to explain here the stack. Uh, the stack data structure, when you have some data structures, you're able to add some elements. And for the de stack data structure means you have some, uh, I don't know, just uh, some empty space or just have the table and you're adding some books on the table. And here means that LIFO means last in, first out. Uh, when you're putting the book to the stack, you're using the function push to add it to the stack, for example. You're adding the one, the first book, for example. 
we are adding another book on the top, the push. And when you taking out from this stack, you're taking out not the first book, you're taking the top one. And top will be the last element added in the stack. And when you have the memory, you adding the same way. Uh, if you adding int number, you putting uh, sorry, I close this. Uh, you putting to the stack this while here uh, int number fifty. You're not adding that variable, but I'm just writing here. Here is, you'll find that you know, the segments set back. Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> we need some colors. I don't know how to make it color here. Okay, we adding some wireless it's really strange okay the first cell is like adding int number 50 for example uh, you adding basically the int and 50 I need more space because we're later adding more stuff heap oh sorry how to delete it okay we have the RAM stack and heap RAM stack and heap basically you add the number 50 and integer and have and here your RAM will have some address and address represents like here in that column address uh, in that column you will get some addresses for example i add in here for this number exists some address like any kind of uh, number or oh, in hex format like zero x doesn't matter like two 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 f a ah uh, you have some address stack have address and heap also have the same stuff um, a bit more uh, oil Sorry, control C, control V. We're adding here address. Uh, heap also have address because uh, here it's no big difference between those two uh, type of memory. And when you have the stack memory, you okay. We're adding some number, for example, also the same. Um, and Later, I will create a pointer. Uh, now we have the same situation, and when using the stack, and when using the heap, when you're using the stack, uh, you're adding more elements, for example, like adding more, more, doesn't matter how many. Uh, not the number, but I'm just repeating the same stuff. And you're adding more and more stuff here. Uh, the situation will be here when you adding uh, another. Like I don't know how to explain it here. Like when you try to add more. Uh, like add it more. You will get some error. Uh, which calls in nowadays <laughs> and when you're looking some information stack or overflow 
uh, you will find some uh, stack overflow you will face some memory problems because stack is for example have some i don't know mm, four gigabytes memory oh, insert four gigabytes memory four gigabytes ram doesn't matter for example we have four gig four gigabytes ram whole memory how to represent here stack is uh, four gig rams and here it's when you fill it the whole ram and you try to adding more elements you will face the stack overflow problem and when you're creating the program using uh, only this without the without the variables you have the basically the same structure to reach uh, you have the address you have the value but you um, filling the stack memory and when you're creating the functions you're also adding the function like i don't know uh, print some stuff uh, add two numbers like int a and b i'm just show uh, how compiler works and if that have the stack you add into the stack and he taken from the top or from somewhere and adding 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 a lot of stuff to the stack and you will face the stack overflow problem and how to solve this uh, problem when you have the fixed size memory for example we have the ram 4 gigs or 8 gigs doesn't matter like for a moment we have 4 gigabyte 4 gigs ram uh, 4 gigabyte ram and stack it's also will be the same uh, same amount memory and for example, of course, operating system not allowed to use the whole memory because uh, when you open, for example, process here, uh, performance and see memory. For example, I already used 38% memory. That means I able to get only 60% 60, 60 around 60% more memory from operating system. And when you fill it to that memory, you will face the stack overflow problem. Here. And that's, that's why we need uh, the heap memory and why we need the pointers. You have the addresses because you need to reach those values. Sometimes those values exist. And of course, single number integer, it's not fa <laughs> It not uh, creates the memory leak situations or crashes. And now in the pointer world, uh, the pointer is some arrow. And the arrow able to show somewhere. For example, oh, yeah, it's good. Uh, we have some pointer like in our and the our visual representation we understand here is a pointer which shows uh, to the top doesn't matter which uh, from where like from here we able to have some block or points somewhere from here comes to here to the left and why we need those pointers because we able to create single pointer to show, for example, to uh, different values, to multiple values, to single value, to arrays. But if you uh, show them to the array, you're not able to show to the whole array elements because you need to show the, to the first element and you're not able to show to the multiple addresses at the moment. Because the array uh, arrow, this pointer, 
uh, able to show to the single address. Because if you're able to show to the multiple addresses, it will face a lot of issues. Yeah. And the difference between the basic type like integer 50, it holds the integer value. If you have the pointer, you're able to create a pointer which is shows to nothing, like void, pointer, asterisk symbol, say that here it's dynamic memory or heap memory. Like pointer, for example. And if you're creating the void, that means your pointer shows to any type you would like. If you're creating the char symbol, uh, for example, symbol back uh, dollar. Uh, we creating uh, in char. Uh, we need more types. Float, float. Uh, number float like salary. Salary. Two plot float as which see that float. And when you're creating the void pointer, you're creating the point. Like here, pointer shows to nothing here. And when you create this to nothing, uh, this pointer uh, saves not the value, but uh, stores the address. Uh, store and the address store the address to the memory uh, somewhere uh, those addresses as you see here will be here here and etc for example you created this uh, uh, some void void uh, pointer mm. Pointer will have some address here, and this address will be some some address. I'm just changing some numbers. F F. Uh, it's hex format now, and this heap that means uh, instead of. Uh, adding as a stack, we adding some one point. And heap memory, basically is really similar structure, but when you're creating the pointer, you're creating the pointer in some place. You don't know which place you're creating the pointer. Uh, top, bottom, or center, or doesn't matter. Maybe here, for example. Because heap memory, it's dynamic memory. Uh, dynamic memory. Dynamically allocated. Uh, maybe I wrong misspelled something. Uh, heap is dynamically allocated memory. And when you have some 4 gigs of RAM, you're allocating this memory and you're using same as the stack. If you're not uh, deallocated or freed up this memory, uh, you're using uh, just same as a stack memory and you're wasting and creating some memory leaks when you're initializing the memory. Uh, we at the moment not initialize the memory. We just created a pointer, which stores the address uh, of value to the void. Void means nothing. Uh, void means you show to the any type, doesn't matter, in char, float, or, or any type. And if we try to print it out our value of, or not value, or address of pointer. Uh, I need to write like address pointer. Oh, address of pointer, like this. And when you have like this, I need to add end line 
here. Now we should print the address of the pointer. Oh, and here we get the hex format pointer. We will to copy this address and add it here, for example. As you hear the address like this, uh, we uh, created the other cell, for example, this, and we try to run the same app again. Uh, maybe it's the same. 2FD6. Okay, it's the same. Maybe we will get the same now. Yeah, it's not, not, not a fun output now. Okay, we get the address of the point. And uh, here, basically, you able to store something. And if you would like to show this pointer to some place, because you create a pointer, for example, in memory, it's holding this pointer. Uh, like this, this pointer shows to this memory, for example. And that means for us nothing. Because if I would like to print it, uh, the value of pointer shows. Pointer shows to, we'll see now. Uh, pointer shows to value. And how to get the value of the pointer? Because if you calling like this, you get the address. If you call in the asterisk, uh, oh, yeah, we will face. I don't know how to <laughs> uh, explain now because you will get. You don't know which type which type of value you need to print it out because here is a void. And void is nothing, and you're not able to print it out the void type. And basically, able to cast like char, for example. Uh, I know pointer to char. Oh, I'm not sure how to cast the pointer. Maybe we go to look uh, cast pointer C plus plus. Oh, void, maybe. Cast void. Or type cast, I forget how it's called it. Static cast. Mm. No, okay, we try to. Of course, here it's. No, 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 no. Not good uh, to use the void pointers. Of course, some some situations you need to use pointers. Uh, maybe we need like this. No, it's not working. Void int not allowed. Uh, void. <laughs> Okay, doesn't matter now. Uh, when you have some uh, pointers, basically it recommends to use the real type of which value this pointer to shows. Uh, with casting, we're able to cast void to the real type later using some of uh, some. Rain to broadcast, but I don't re uh, recommend to use at the moment because you need to understand if you're working with some data using uh, not a void but using concrete type to store some values. And instead of uh, void, you're able to create, for example, integer. And if you say that integer, that means in our diagram uh, now shows to the integer. 
and how to represent here. Mm, okay, we delete this. We take the new arrow and you shows to the int integer type. That means when you write the int, you show to int. When you write the float pointer, you show to the float. Like, the, like this. Uh, when you say that void, you show to the void type. And basically, when you're creating the void type, you show to the void, and basically, you show to the int value. And here exists also address. Pointer show to the address. And uh, this uh, place uh, holds the integer value. Pointer shows only to the address instead of values, and by address you're able to get the values. For the void, you're not able to do anything. You're able to use it as a pointer to point to some places, and when you need to, you need to like casting, like you see static cast or any casts from void to real type. Because the void it's empty. It's only arrow, it's only address, and later you need to uh, get some values, you need to cast to real to concrete values. And if you show to the int float void, you need to think which data type you're using to manipulate using the pointers. And for our case, when you write int. You uh, using the integer pointer, and for integer pointer, you using uh, you try to print it out as a value. When you writing the asterisk pointer, that means uh, is value uh, to which pointer pointer points yeah and here we have the pointer that shows to the value for example at the moment doesn't show to any value and here when you're calling the pointer you're calling the pointer address address because uh, it holds the address of the pointer and when we running, uh, we get the value of the memory uh, at the moment exists. And when you're not initializing the pointer, you will get some value. It's garbage value. And for that reason, you need to allocate the memory. In C++ world, it's really easy to allocate the memory. And to allocate the memory, you need to say that uh, pointer, or just able to write like pointer equals new int. And that means you allocate the memory. And when you're allocating the memory, uh, we now get different addresses, as you see here. Uh, B. It's really hard to get different now. Um, address of pointer, okay. Uh, as you see here, we got different values because it shows to the different uh, places. Oh, it's different address, yes, I see now. Uh, when you clicking again, new int means uh, as in stack you will get like fixed size addresses like oh sorry like control V control V we have more so of course uh, different address you're not able to create duplicate addresses uh, just you have uh, some address. 
I don't know, we need to change maybe FB, uh, FC, FD, FE, FF, and maybe here we change it numbers. doesn't matter two five three okay we have the like the addresses of the stack and during the program you not freed up that wireless and you're able to stack overflow phase the stack overflow when you're using the pointer as you see here in a dynamically allocated using the ram and in ram you basically uh, allocating here 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 or any place during the uh, run your program during runtime program and when you're creating the new keyword it's allocate the memory each every time or each time when you're using this uh, uh, dynamic memory allocation you get the different addresses for example we get b0 oh sorry um we need back here we got that address uh, 715b0 when we running here we get different address and different value because in different address exist different value and here we get as you see different numbers xa71 x0x and etc for the same new int new int you allocated the memory like int pointer pointer equals you each time allocating different place you're not uh, uh, adding the values like in stack before as you see we just allocating in different places and how many memory you needed that many memory you get it and now we have the dynamic heap memory and when you're allocating you allocating and not free it up it's uh, holding that memory during your program runtime and now if you would like to uh, free it up this memory you need to write like delete expression or keyword to delete some memory delete pointer means you deallocated the memory deallocated memory that means delete pointer after you use your memory you every time need to deallocate the memory your program work as intended and because you don't need the memory leaks and you don't need to waste the memory like in, in the stack you're wasting and when you write delete uh, delete means after I don't know how to visualize uh, after you write delete pointer um, For example, we have the single, or just, or just you have this, and you writing the delete pointer. And after this operation, you, oh, sorry, mm. okay, after delete operation. Uh, your memory is freed up like uh, you not deleting physically you just uh, freed up or deallocate your memory uh, I don't know how to <laughs> show here uh, deallocate the memory just just added text uh, the allocate memory uh, mm, 
the allocate memory oh maybe uh, when you have the pointer for example here uh, our pointer pointer uh, which shows to the memory oh we don't need maybe this uh, which shows here and after you delete pointer um, you deallocate the memory and your pointer uh, stops showing here slide no maybe uh, at the moment yeah it's pointer shows here um, after you deallocating the memory maybe we try to print it here or try to print it and see what's happening here uh, now as you see here local pointer may be point to deallocated memory okay uh, as you see here we got the same address but this memory is deallocated and if you try to print it out here the value as you see here the same result but here it's freed up memory and sometimes maybe you're able to get different results it's really hard to see here because we just running and getting instantly uh, we need some delays and after some delay you not able to see the same value because you pointing to the deallocated memory and the pointer address the same address but uh, shows to the deallocated memory that means be able to get uh, wrong values and you never should do like this after the delete statement delete uh, keyword and basically here is a to initialize the basic pointer and delete pointer is delegate memory and here is pointer shows to the same address and this address holds for example some value if you need it and now we have the number in 50 yeah we have the another variable for example created here we have the another address and we have the number number and we have the 50. Uh -huh. and now our pointer shows to the this and this prints some strange numbers as you see here Pointer shows the value each time different because they allocating, we allocating the memory. And if you would like to change and show to the different value and address, you're able to change like this pointer equals, and you need to give the address here. If you write the number, you will get some problem because uh, we passing some, not address, but integer. Uh, if we would like to add a number you're not able to do like this because you're not able to get the address without some special symbols and to get the address from the stack or from the fixed size uh, memory you need to add ampersand and ampersand means the address of the integer value for example if you try to ampersand salary, you're not able because uh, integer pointer shows to the integer type, not to the float type. And you need to pick the correct one type, like integer to integer for a moment number. And now, if you pointing like this, I will try to print it out the values before the pointer and after the pointer. Uh, address of our when we 
uh, give the different address, we get different values. And as you see here, address of pointer is this, while uh, this, and after pointer shows to the number, it shows to the different address and different value. That means your pointer uh, moves from here to this address, like this. After, after this pointer equals number. Operation, where is the text? After, oh, okay, it's not so bad. After pointer equals ampersand number, we show the this address. And if you would like to change the value of the number, uh, what you're able to do like this. Uh, now, before we deleting, we able to create a pointer which shows to the. Uh, we would like to change the value of the pointer shows. For example, we need to get instead of fifty value, we need to get uh, seventy. And for that case, you need to write asterisk pointer x equals 70. You're not able to write like this because here is the address. Uh, when you're writing the asterisk, you show to the integer value, and this mean that means you will change the value of the pointer shows. And now, if you try to print it out, the pointer shows value here. Uh, no, not pointer shows value, but uh, number. Uh, number value. And when you have the number value, instead of pointer, we show the number. And we just printing the same. Oh. Okay, we delete this. Uh, we copy this number value before the initialization here. Uh, before the pointer uh, change the value, we printing the number value, and after the pointer change value, because pointer shows to the number. And when you're running, you will get two different values, 50 and 70. That means pointer shows to the address of the number and it changes the value to the number. You don't need to write like number equal 70, you're able to change for that uh, place the value for the integer. And you're able to control that value during uh, this, during your program. And for example, you would like to print the pointer value after uh, the number change some value. Or just instead of pointer um, changes some stuff, we changing using some number. Uh, for example, we printing the pointer shows value now. Pointer should show to the 70. And after uh, number change value to 100, we printing the pointer where it shows now. <coughs> because the pointer shows to the number, if you change the number, the pointer should change uh, also the value. And as you see here, uh, pointer shows to the 70 and pointer shows to the 100. That means when you changing your number and pointer shows to, the, to your address, you will get updated values. Basically, it's nothing special, but uh, when you have the pointer, you're able to have some arrow which is able to show to the different memory places. 
get, for example, some values, same point are able to show to the different address. For example, we create uh, int uh, id equals for and for k. And now, before pointer shows to 100, we change the address. We say that at id at uh, id and when you show to id you will get four and four and five k uh, different value and here is a basically pointer usage is when you have some pointer you're able to show to any place to get some values to do some operations and you're able to do like this and after delete you deallocate the memory and when you deallocating the memory basically you free it up or just deleting or leaving empty or for basically you leaving the same values which is left from your work with this memory and given to the other program for example and here it's to a bit smaller uh, here pointer and number shows to the number if changing changing addresses and delete pointer delegate the number delegate the memory means that you're able to create a program which is not crash is stack overflow you just have uh, four gigs use one gig uh, delegate uh, also will get the same four gigs and during the runtime able to work with this memory it really helps to optimize your algorithms using this stuff and for that reason when you working with the graphic libraries or when creating the game engines you're able to control the memory and manage memory management helps to control this memory and of course to show to some different places when you need it and copy this memory and etc and we also see i don't know a few students see that malloc alloc reloc it's really the same stuff instead of malloc alloc reloc using the new keyword which has helped to uh, uh, allocate the memory if using different you using the different one. Um, here i have a lot of open pages i maybe instead of writing i will try to explain the basic knowledge of the pointers and the next next lecture maybe we added more information about this and i will uh, try to review the smart pointers also instead of simple pointers and pointers basically address as we see here we already see like this here you have pointer variable address which points to some address and variable as you see in here pointer have the address and when it shows here it shows to this address and automatically holds maybe adding uh, at the moment here like this pointer holds only address not the value and by address you're able to manipulate also with classes data structures objects doesn't matter which type you need only the address you, you don't need all those uh, class object instances values it's basically free basically saves your a lot of memory during those operations when you need to point to different places because you need to know only the address and the single value if it shows to the integer it uh, sh shows to the four bytes only instead of uh, different types it's easier to manipulate only with the addresses instead of uh, when you have the stack you able also use the address or reference of addresses it's possible without the pointers also to use like 
pass the reference. And uh, I need to close this and we have the pointers, common mistakes. Uh, if you, as you see here, like as we mentioned, when you have the pointer and you able to, you would like to write like this common mistake you're not able to do in C line, but able to do in different language, in different comp ID. Uh, here, you're not able to say that here is the address for this point. Because if you would like to value, you need to write like, like this. Asterisk means the pointer shows to the value 10. And here uh, was uh, war point and correct to show the address. Okay. And see maybe more. Wrong. Oh, okay. Uh, when you have some value and you would like to say ampersand number, uh, here also shows incompatible. It really helps a lot of. Uh, here is a wrong because the value of the number address it's not correct in the, in our case. If you need the value, you need to call it number instead of ampersand. Ampersand, it's only when you're using the address, you need to add ampersand because the pointer uh, holds address. Uh, and when you have the, like this, pointer and, ah, okay, pointer number, it's, yeah, it's both values. Basically, it's all usage for pointers. First uh, page we close. When we have the pointer arrays, and basically you are able to show to some array. Um, we not delete this pointer. We moving down, and when you have some array and array, for example, equals we adding some values. Oh, I'm luck. Uh, 80, 200, 47, 98, etc. And when we would like to show to the pointer uh, array address, you don't need to write like uh, ampersand array. Array. Uh, because the array holds by default the address to the first element, to this element. And when you're writing like this, you will get, uh, we just able to copy those two. It's much, much easier to use it. Uh, address of pointer and uh, while of pointer. Address is in that one and while it's 80. It's like first element of the array. Yeah, it's working like in T array. And when you need the address, yeah, it's really, you get the same address of the array. And if you need to print it second element of the array, uh, basically you need add plus one. Oh no, plus one it's added as well, sorry. Um, we need to hmm. maybe it's working like this pointer plus one. I'm not sure now. We need to check it. Um, we try to check it. Is it working or not? No, it's the same one. Here it shows how to plus. Mm -hmm. PTR. We able to get ampersand. Oh no, it's not this. I would like different notation. Oh, it's outside, sorry. 
try to print this. No. Pointer. Oh, plus, sorry. See why it's gray. Mm. Oh, we need, sorry, we need to print somewhere. Uh, when you're printing, we don't need to use, uh, when you're printing the next element of the array or pointer shows, because when you're creating the array, basically you have the situation. You have the array like, Here, Harry. Doesn't matter. Et first element um, two hundred. You have some memory or array. Okay, and we have two more values. Uh, it forty seven ninety eight. 47.98 and now shows to the mm, pointer pointer shows to the first element by default And when you write like this, you show to the first element, uh, not the value, but to the address. Uh, of course, we forget the addresses. Forget the addresses. Wait, up there. Okay, we got some addresses. Uh, those addresses, or maybe we need to copy from here. Those one is better. Oh, sorry. Those one is better. It's different ones. And you have the array. Yeah. Here is the array. And array, as you know, array able to get by uh, index. In the memory world, when you have the array by index, you have, uh, you get the address. Uh, and this, uh, pointer asterisk pointer plus one means you get the second well and as you see here we got 200 basically this one is the same as uh, array um, one And if you need the first element, uh, second element address, you get ampersand. If you need uh, only this uh, array first, you're just writing array one. You will get the same values. But if you are working with pointer, you need to point uh, through the whole um, array you using uh, this representation. And you're able to point to any uh, place, able to plus, minus, or any operations with pointers using here. Uh, using the array by index, if you need the address, you add percent or just we able to print it uh, address address of array pointer shows uh, address of array pointer shows you able to hmm, pointer I'm not sure now how to print this using the sim similar structure mm. Print value or how to print the address. Yeah, and here it shows the same like using this or just simple array using pointer or not using pointer. 
I would like to print the pointer address. Oh, okay. Um, pointer address array address of array pointer shows. Uh, pointer shows, for example, pointer plus one. and or pointer plus two uh, pointer plus two means uh, pointer shows to the uh, third parameter like 47 and now we would like to print it out using the pointer and array pointer uh, shows to the uh, address Pointer means the value. Okay, okay. Uh, here, address pointer shows. Pointer shows. Mm. Uh, I use the pointer and I use the basic array operations using the same. Pointer plus two. Uh, address of pointer value of array to pointer shows it's differently but okay uh, address and uh, pointer we are running this we got uh, address and we got 47 third while and when you using the array basically with the array you using different array uh, two and if you need to get the address you're using ampersand and if you're using the array value you get by index using like this and here is a basically the same uh, stuff and you get the same results using here here it's address well, uh, address value, and here we have some um, rules to work with pointers at the moment. And here, basically, that's it with your um, pointers. We're working with arrays. It's really not a big difference. Um, difference because when using uh, reference or value using the array it's like here is basically it's uh, the, the, the array it's the pointer because it's holding the address and pointer shows to the somewhere and when you need uh, some different index you show to the different index um, more with pointers here it's here it's done um, passing by reference pointers and passing by reference without the pointers I'm just uh, show that example here you need to swap two elements you passing those two addresses of integers Instead of uh, values, you're passing the address. And you have the swap function basically to change to swap two elements. And when you're using, you're just getting swapped elements. Here, basically, usage of two reference of integers. If you're using the same, using the uh, reference, passing by reference using pointer. You're creating the swap function using two pointers. Like I see here asterisk means that integer pointers. And you initialize your variables one and two and passing. You're not able to pass the values. You need to pass the address because a function takes the pointer. And for the pointer, you need to pass the ampersand because integer is not the address. You need to pass address of an integer. 
and passing be an integer and the basic function works like this. Temporary you call the value and for this value and one change value and you basically do the same tasks using the pointer. It's really not a big difference when you're using without the pointers. <laughs> when you're using pointers you need the asterisk. And usage just ampersand. Uh -huh. Then the last topic uh, when you using um, delete operator for arrays and delete operator for objects. And after this next week, I, I we. We'll review it more in more deeper with some example maybe uh, for for this uh, pointers and when we creating the classes and etc. Now we have the uh, delete uh, arrays. Basically, when you creating the new pointer, here is when you have the single point. If you need to delete the array or when you have the bigger memory allocated, for example, you have instead of single value, you have uh, like, oh, sorry, hard. one, two, two values. For you have the ar uh, array of, I don't know how to, here, like. You have um, allocated array of in heap. You allocated array, and how to allocate in heap array? Because in stack you allocating uh, using like this, or just and diff like twenty elements array initialize, and here is using the stack, and you get the address by by default the first element. When you have the pointer and you would like to create the array of elements or container, you instead of uh, this symbol, you creating like int dynamic dynamic array. Of course, here is not, not a lot of functions. Uh, we just uh, allocating the memory using the same new int. And when you allocating, you're able to print it like 20. You allocating 20, 20 integer memory. You don't need to calculate in C you need to calculate here you don't need to calculate. And now we are allocating 20 uh, 20 integer. If you need to allocate you also use the same keyword like dynamic array legal no, and Oh, array, array. Like when you need to extend or reduce size, you are able to use the new keyword to do the same tasks. In C language, you need to use re reloc function. Here, you don't need to use the reloc function. Now we allocated 20 members and basically the same as the array. Uh, you're able to work like this uh, dynamic array zero is the first element equals one. Or just uh, you're able to use as uh, dynamic array equals five. That means the first element shows to the five. Uh, if you write like this, Dynamic array plus one uh, equals or sixty six, for example. Uh, first element is five. Second element sixty six. Uh, first was, uh, as you see here, uh, one. Basically, you able to use this structure or this structure. Or, or not the structure or as you are array. Like if you need to print like this, you're able to use like uh, one equals seventy-seven, for example. 
And you just uh, say that uh, first, at the moment, it's from zero, it's second element, it's 66, second element, 77. You're working like with the array, like the basic array, like it doesn't matter, it's memory, but you're working with this. And we try to print it some stuff uh, for in the end, and we're printing, for example, 10 elements or five elements. We enough, and I know it's a different way. Uh, we printing from the zero. We would like to see out to the console array element, and we adding dynamic array i, for example, and line, or just not and line. We add some spaces. And it's much better. Or just, or just must just pieces. Uh, when you're running, uh, outputting the array. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's really. We don't need this. Sorry. Mm -hmm. um, maybe we need to print it out. What is here? Array uh, items. Array items. Array items. We will get some. Uh, oh, we don't need new line. Sorry. Um, we get array items five seventy seven zero zero zero. As you see here, before this, we will get the first element sixty six instead of. 77, we just printing the same. Um, yeah, as you see here, array items 566, and after this, we get 577. Um, here, basically, you change the same value using two different options using as an array or using as an arrow uh, pointer, uh, as a pointer. Because using the same array, uh, basically array is the, also the pointer, and basically if you allocate memory, you're creating the pointer, it shows to the first element, same as uh, array. It's really not, there is no difference between array and pointer. Um, it's really similar uh, stuff. And you're able to get by index, as you see here. Now our goal is to delete array, like delete. And here we just writing delete, uh, array sign and dynamic array means you deleting or deallocating the memory. That means after this, you're not able to use it on this deallocated memory. Because it shows uh, local variable dynamic carry maybe point to the allocate memory. That's it. Um, here is basically the allocation for the array or for memory, like array or collection. Dynamica allocate. Dead dynamic dynamically allocated, and yeah, you're able to use both way using this or using this to allocate. Of course, this one is more clear and easy. Sometimes you're not able to use uh, this stuff. You need some calculations and better to add it like this. And uh, delete it's freed up or delegate memory. Delegate memory. Like this. And now the 
final step before we end today. Um, smart pointer next week and some example with pointers maybe. And here is basically as you see delete pointer. Memory released and that's it. Uh, when you have some objects, here is a student. Okay, we create the same object. Uh, class student we creating the class private and age public uh, void age oh sorry uh, void no what we need to uh, oh it's getter it's only getter Okay, we able to generate getter h and we able to create constructor h. And if you would like to pass default value, able to add here a number like uh, some value. h is like 24, 5. And when you're changing this value, you're changing this value. Here is default value for its student. And student constructor lets you to create the object uh, with age. And now when you're using the memory, we go into the our object. Uh, OP memory management. And here basically we create our student, for example, Tom. And Tom have different ages, like 35. Um, and when you're creating the Tom, here you're creating in the stack memory. If you would like to create Tom using dynamic memory, uh, I create maybe different students. Uh -huh. um, Anna. Uh, 55 but using the pointer and when using pointer you need to ask them for the name and write the equals to allocate the student memory oh sorry no. here you can't uh, here you need to add some well uh, this implementation is similar in Java C sharp or different modern languages as you see but here it's only working with memory allocation because there is no garbage collection. You're using the pointers to allocate the memory. It's really the same in Java and C Sharp using the same construction. Uh, but here you need to add a pointer because you need to manage memory your own your own way to allocate the memory. And when we have to have objects. Uh, auto. No, you're able to use the auto keyword uh, to avoid some problems. But I recommend first when you start working with types, you need real type. Um, really recommend to use like this. And here you're using like heap. Here it's stack. And if you're using Stack memory, maybe. Okay, stack heap doesn't matter. Uh, Tom dot get age, or just it will print out, of course. See out Tom get age. See out Anna dot get age. And as you see here, difference between the stack you use the dot uh, for Anna in the in the pointer or dynamic memory using the pointer arrow to get the Anna H. Really only the difference here. And when you need to deallocate memory, because in stack you, you don't need to deallocate memory, and heap you dynamic memory you need deallocate. You write delete Anna. That's it. You free up your Anna. And when you try to use Anna, you will face the problem that you point to the deallocated memory. 
here is a basically all stuff you need to know when you're working with the dynamic memory and next lecture maybe we will discuss in more deeper details using the destructors when you have some situations like this we have the fields in student class like like this or just id and if id is pointer you need to allocate a memory i'm just show destructor when you uh, delete the object you call in destructor like this you're able to write uh, delete here id it's internal pointers here you're able to deallocate this uh, after you finish work with id and maybe we see more in more deeper details uh, next lecture and basically that's it for our today lecture any questions <laughs>